New at Sunrise, April is Autism Awareness Month, which focuses on acceptance, awareness, and action. Advocates hope to inform parents, family, and the general public about what autism is. Our Erica Stanish is live in the newsroom now to tell us more about it. Erica? Tim, autism is the fastest growing developmental disorder in the United States. There is no medical detection or cure, but there's many things family, friends, neighbors, and even the general public can do to help understand and accept autism. Today, one in 68 American children are diagnosed with autism. There is no prevention, there is no cure, but there is hope. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder. According to AutismSpeaks.org, it impairs behavior, socialization, and communication. Signs of autism can begin as early as one year old. You're going to look at kids that um, are, are not social, that don't want to look you in the eye, um, that maybe have flapping movements, motions, um, repetitive motions. Paula Epley Newman of Beginnings tells me the rate is increasing of diagnosis and parents need to be aware of the symptoms. Early detection is very important because we can help kids um, so much quicker and learn what their needs are and everything is individualized so being able to provide those individualized services is what the secret to successful um, cooperation with autism is. Accepting autism is the first step. Paul Newman tells me you must embrace the diagnosis when you receive one. Begin learning all you can about how an autistic child learns and become your child's teacher, become your child's best advocate. Raising awareness can help lead to an early diagnosis, which can improve a child's quality of life. There is still a stigma that exists um, between people who don't understand the symptoms and the behaviors of autism um, in judging parents and children that deal with the disorder. Newman says no two people are the same and there are various diagnoses, but we need to embrace it and accept it. Don't be afraid of, of autism. Autism Speaks hopes to change the future for those on the spectrum and help find a cure. Now, for more information, you can go to our website at wjctv.com. Reporting live, Erica Stanish, 6 News. Thank you, Erica.